Hello, welcome to the channel or welcome back if you're new. It's Dominique here and today we are touring a house in the Blockhouse Creek neighborhood. Let's go. My name is Dominique and I share all things real estate related in the greater Austin area. So today we're actually going to be touring a house. I mentioned that in my last video that there was a house that looked really cute in the pictures and I wanted to take a look. We are at 2504 Kathleen Cove in Blockhouse. It's a beautiful new build. It was built actually in 2022. So it's very unique because most of the homes here were built between the 80s to like early 2000s, maybe like 2010. So this is very unique. So I'm excited to see the finish outs. I'm excited to see the floor plan. It's got a little over 1800 square feet. It looks really spacious. So I just kind of wanted to see what it looks like in person and also wanted to give you all a sense of some of the houses that are in the neighborhood. So let's go take a look. Okay, here we are. It is so adorable. So it's a four bedroom, three and a half bath house. It's 1868 square feet. Like I said before, it was built this year in 2022. And it's got a 6,000 square foot lot. So a nice lot size. And I really love the finish outs. I think they did a really good job of choosing just a neutral palette. I love the floors. They're not like too light, they have, but they're not too honey. I think it was a good choice. And then I really like the stone fireplace. I like the paint color that they selected. It's like, it's, it's not too creamy. It's not gray, which I don't love gray. Gray is not in anymore. And it's also not too white. I mean, I do like white. My, actually my whole house is white, but you know, it can kind of feel a bit stark where this has some nice warmth to it and then you can bring your own style into the house um the kitchen is just beautiful they did a good job selecting the tile because it's not you know it's a neutral color so it'll go with any style you know decor style and it also they also added a little zazz to it instead of just you know like subway tile it's just a little bit different and then i love the cabinetry it's super high and then they have a really pretty molding up there and just simple pools, shaker style cabinets. And then these counters are quartz, not too busy, but not like plain too. I feel like they were a good choice, you know? You've got stainless steel appliances and this has a gas stove, which is really great because not all places have gas stoves anymore. A lot of new builders are doing electric. And so it's really nice that they have the gas and those have the soft close soft close drawers in the kitchen and over here i didn't even look in here oh wow got some nice storage in here oh this is really cool you could put some little hooks there for your broom vacuum everything pantry let's see what's over here oh wow and more storage Oh, this is great because then the laundry room is over here. So that's completely separate. So kind of off topic, but I think some cleaners came in here and put some kind of oil. They, they tried to polish the floor, but it's so slippery. So I'm like sliding around. I, I wrote the agent to let her know. I'm like, um, you can barely walk in here. So you've got just a nice little laundry room good space i mean enough space here to put a little litter box if you needed to and then i love the cabinetry all the way up to the ceiling it's just simple but plenty of storage space there and then there is a little half bath over here one of the other things that i really love about this house is that there's a lot of windows there's a good amount of natural light like when i came in you know the lights weren't on but even with all the lights off, it still felt airy and bright and open. That's the garage. So two car garage. Let's see, this must be storage. Yeah, 
Oh, that's great. Under the stairs storage. Oh, it's got two water heaters. That's very unique. Let me have them stored in here. And then over this way is the primary bedroom. And there's two in this house. I haven't gone upstairs yet to see it yet, but it's a nice space here. I would probably put the bed here, but it would definitely fit a king size bed, nightstands, dresser. I mean, you have all of this wall space over here. You could also put a bed there depending. And then there's access to the outside here, which I love. Let me show y'all out here. There's also a door there from the dining, but look at this huge patio. I love this. And then of course a brand new fence here and there's plenty of room in this yard. You know, not too big, but a good, a good amount of space. I think they did a really good job with the exterior of the house so that it didn't look so different from the neighborhood because it's a new build. Okay, back in the primary bedroom. Let's take a look at the primary bath. So you've got full size shower in there with sliding glass doors. With got subway tile, which I still love subway tile. It's just a classic look. I don't love this very much. I would have chosen something different, but everybody has their own likes, don't they? Again, just like neutral finish outs. I really like this tile, just a gray tile. And then you've got closet in here, walk-in closet. It would be nice if this were a little bigger. That's the only thing I will say, but I think very well done. Okay, let's go take a look upstairs. I'm like slowly walking, trying not to fall. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is wild. I've never had this happen before at any house that I've been in and I've looked at a lot of houses. Okay, so we're up here. You've got this little landing at the top and three bedrooms up here. I need to work out because I'm already breathing hard just from that one flight of stairs. That's ridiculous. Um, I like this little spot right here. I feel like you could put like a cute little table there with like a pretty mirror. And you've got, so this is one bedroom over here. I would say, hmm, I don't have the dimensions, but I would say this room might be like 11 by 10, if I'm guessing. I love that they have ceiling fans with lights in all of the rooms. That just makes things way easier. You don't have to have someone install them. They're just ready to go. And so here you have the guest bathroom. So again, with just some really nice neutral colors, got a little linen closet right there. I would have preferred for this to have a door, but I get why they did it like this because it's just kind of a small weird space behind this door. So to probably, it would have been hard to open anyway. So, and then you've got the bath with the same glass doors, subway tile, and another window. I love the windows. I love windows in kitchens and I love windows in bathrooms. Especially, you know, this is kind of a smaller bathroom area, but it makes it feel bigger, it feels nice. And lastly, we have the primary suite, second primary suite upstairs. I really like this floor plan because I've had clients before who need a second primary suite and it's actually harder to find than you would think. There are some new construction builders that are doing two primary suites, but it is harder to come by. Um, so yeah, I really love this floor plan because you just have this secondary space up here. I could see it where, you know, if you have small children, you might have a couple up here, you know, close to their baby and then have maybe their mother-in-law or whoever is living in the second primary suite downstairs. And then as the kids get older, this could be a good space for a teenager. And then you have your house and then you have your space downstairs. So just a lot of options, a lot of possibilities with this floor plan. I really like it. You have another walk-in closet in here, the primary bath and kind of same design. You've got the subway tile. This has a 
I like this door. I prefer this to the sliding doors. And I love this black stone. And again, with a little window in the bathroom, I love it. It just really adds something to the space and it makes it feel airy and open. Okay guys, we're back in the car. I'm starting to burn up. We're at the stage in Texas where it's cool in the morning and then by the afternoon it's, what is it right now? Well, it's 72 and it was like 60 this morning. That's why I'm wearing a sweatshirt, but I get cold. Anyway, I go off to, the weather here is, is a little strange this time of year. So what did you think of the house? I thought it was really cute. There was a lot that I really liked about the house. So who do I think this might be good for? I think this would be good for somebody that wants to be in an established neighborhood, but might prefer, you know, new construction because there's, there's pros and cons to, you know, an established community and new construction with new construction. You know, you're not going to have trees that have been established. The houses are oftentimes a lot closer to each other. And then when you go to, you know, an established community, you have, you know, maybe more amenities, you have established trees um, the homes are further apart there's just there's just pros and cons to each thing and it depends on obviously what your wants and needs are but I think this is a really cool happy medium um, getting new construction in an already established neighborhood and like I said earlier I feel like they did a really good job of designing the outside of the house so that it fits into the neighborhood so it's not sticking out like a sore thumb it blends in really well into the neighborhood. So yeah, I think they did a really good job. I think it's a, a really cute house. I don't know if I said this before, but the house is listed for $4.99. They listed it in June at $5.25, had it on the market a few months and then took it off. And now it is on the market again with a different agent. It has been relisted for about a week. So we'll see what happens with this house. Okay guys, well, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was really helpful to you. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of the house? Could you live here? Is it your style? Is, do you like a different style? I would love to know. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to comment or send me an email. And if you're looking to move to the greater Austin area, I would absolutely love to help you, whether it's in the next 30 days, 90 days, whatever it is, I am here as a resource to you. So thank you again so much. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay connected with me. And I will see y'all very soon in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.